Good morning guys. So it is a new day and I want to start filming even on the days that I'm working. So today I work but only a couple hours so I thought I could get a bunch of footage of today and what I'm doing. Um, I cleaned the house pretty much yesterday but I have like the mundane chores of making bed and cleaning bathroom and stuff and I don't know what else today's gonna bring. I don't know if I'm gonna add all these vlogs into one day but just follow me along and we'll see where this vlog takes us. these? Yes, the pizza pockets. Yep. It has vegan mozzarella in it. So they're vegan? Oh, certified vegan. It says so right there. Nah, -uh. I'm going to have to try those. <laughs> oh, wait, you disappeared in the text. Oh, this is too close. Every time I put it in, it goes, my bad. Oh. It says vegan certified. Oh. That's crazy. I'm going to stop by Giant. Will work. And I'll bring you some because they're so good. I'm still on whatever this is called. FaceTime. I don't know what it's called. Snapchat. What? Snapchat video. You guys can Snapchat chat video me too. You don't have to just text me. So this is what I use on my hair typically is a shine spray and the Kenra. But I'm pretty much out of shine spray and I'm out of hairspray. And this is my go-to dry shampoo, guys. I love this stuff. But I don't I don't think any of this is vegan. Stuff bell peppers. Yeah. Stuff bell peppers. Yeah. But my rice isn't done yet. So it this was a, so go ahead. It did again. It thinks it's done. It's not. You're not done. Well, she, she's the one I was talking about yesterday that I'm like, don't think I'm a bitch or anything. But she's like vegetarian, like going into veganism slowly. So I'm glad she didn't take offensive to my video. <laughs> I don't cook that often. I, I don't cook very much. So if I can buy a pre-made because I'm lazy, I will. So that's one of my struggles with Ariel is a great cook. Well, it also, she works a ton of hours. Like, I'm too lazy, and my wrist hurts too much, but she's, like, at work 90% of the time, so I can understand. I've already put in 30 hours of work this week. And today's, like, Wednesday. Yeah. But one more day, and then I'm off for the next nine days. So I would try to write my grandmother a letter... At least once a month. She never replies back, but I feel like snail mail is the best kind of mail for grandmothers. And so I decided to call her because I got a word from my manager about like a time frame that I can take off. So I wanted to update her to make sure she wasn't going to book anything or I guess I shouldn't say book. But my aunt usually takes her on like little vacations during the summer like, oh, we're going to go to Niagara Falls or something. So, um... I made sure I called her. I'm like, you're not doing anything. I'm going to head up. She was so excited. She was so excited that I even called her. So I need to call her more often. Also, my granny is like, she's, oh my gosh. I don't know. She's just, she's really country. <laughs> and she has really strong opinions. And it's so cute to talk to her. So I defi I'll i definitely get some clips of her just for keepsake for me. But so you guys can see my granny and how cute she is and her house is so cool it's I personally it's haunted it is so haunted her house is crazy so like before so my aunt I don't know I'll get into this a little bit so my aunt is like a ghost hunter or something she called herself that but when we were little me and my cousins were hanging out for my boy cousin and literally he was upstairs but we were in this uh I don't know what you call it, like a pantry, but the pantry had a door in the back where you could go downstairs. Well, someone was banging and trying to open that door, and we're like, no, don't come in, because we thought it was him coming from outside. He was upstairs. No one was in the basement, and we come out screaming, and I was crying. I don't know how old I was, maybe eight or nine, and I'm like, someone was trying to get us, and I swear, like forever, everybody knows the story, because someone was trying to come in through the basement to get us girls in the pantry. So I don't know if it was a robber or what. Well, anyways, 
end of story, we had people go downstairs and make sure all the windows and doors were locked. Everything was locked. So it was a ghost. It, that place is haunted. Like, legit. And that, I've never had another paranormal experience other than that really in my life that was so like, this is so real. This is crazy. But anyways, I gotta, I have work in an hour and a half. I have to leave for work in about an hour and a half, but it was nice talking to her and she's excited that I'm coming up and I'm excited to see her. It's just a long road trip. So we'll stay two full days and have the other two days to drive back. But I'm excited. Howdy folks. I'm so excited. I just got my vegan t-shirt and a vegan pin in the mail. I don't know if it's going to fit. I'm almost sad it's not going to fit because they didn't have my size. I ordered the correct size and she was really nice. She contacted me. She's like, we have a white one and your size, but I really wanted black. So I'm not pressed if it doesn't fit and I ordered a pin. So I'm not sure if it's all in here. Oop, it is in here. Oh my gosh, it's so big. It's way bigger than I thought. It says eat figs, not pigs. This is so me. And she sent a vegan lollipop with it. And there's a couple different things in here. Hey, thank you so much for ordering the t-shirt. We hope you enjoy wearing it. Keep being amazing and fighting for animal rights. Emily and Sean, we care. The lollipop is an organic and 100% vegan. You are wonderful. That is so sweet. 10% of your order was donated to Cedar Row Farm Sanctuary in Canada. Oh my gosh, so cute, so cute. Uh, it might fit guys oh my gosh yes okay so I could use lose a little bit of hippage but check this out oh my gosh eat figs not pigs I am so in love with this this is this is me this is so freaking me oh my gosh Thank you so much. I don't even think you'll even watch this video, but if you do, like, this is amazing. It's definitely tight on the arms and it's tight around the hips, but I think we'll be okay. And I'm glad it stretches, but oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> um, I, I did pay for it guys, but like, this is like everything. You guys know I love pigs, you know I love figs, and this is like, it but I really need to get to going to work in a minute but yes howdy guys so Hank's like lock the door when you come in and I'm like why and he's like don't you hear what's going on out there and I'm like um and then he's and I heard the helicopter and then what was really fishy is when I was coming home I saw someone's crouching down at a local business that's not open like you just scratching down and I thought maybe he was just drunk or something I'm like I don't know <sighs> so I didn't think of anything of it so now I'm almost worried like well what about if it was him hiding so I'm home I'm gonna make some rice for dinner I have some rice and I'm gonna eat that kimchi that's been sitting on the counter and uh yeah it's gonna be dinner tonight I'm super excited because I'm getting some videos out for like weight loss slash healthy eating and stuff. I just got done recording two videos today, so same shirt, but you guys know I'm gonna live in this shirt from now on. Um, it is so nice out there, and I kinda wanna get out. I'm not sure what I wanna do. I could bike ride, but I have work in a little bit, so I don't wanna get super sweaty. But maybe I should just take a walk. Why not? You probably could hear that beeping, but they're working on my block, so I couldn't take too far of a walk because they have the block blocked off because of tree cutting so they're cutting down trees for wires and stuff so I said you know what I did my little walk so now I'm gonna do something productive and clean out my purse because I just literally throw everything everything in my purse I spill everything guys <laughs> I just spilled my rice all over the floor Jeez Louise if you know me personally you know I spill everything every time I eat popcorn there's popcorn all over the floor at work. <laughs> not, not the best of keeping stuff in their bowls. 
So that was a little fishy. Two cops just pulled into my neighbor's drive driveway and they're like, all right, everything's taken care of. Like what just happened? <laughs> it's lunchtime, so I'm having my favorite thing ever, kimchi and rice. And then I got individual packs of the Kirkland seaweed, which there's actually way more in here than I thought. So yeah, I'm gonna dig in. You could add avocado or some yum yum sauce, but I'm just gonna eat this kimchi by itself because I'm a little addicted, guys. Well, guys, I am home from work, and it looks like Daddy came home. I don't know why I say Daddy. I say Daddy because he's the he's the father of my children, of my kitty cats because he has his belt here. So obviously he's at dark on tonight. So tonight's dinner, it's gonna be a little weird today. So I have really smushy avocado, so I'm gonna have avocado toast, and then I have this melon that Mama Tang talked about. This is like a Korean melon, and I've heard it tastes like a pear. I don't know, so we're gonna cut this open because it's ready to eat. Ooh, look how weird it looks inside. It looks like a regular cantaloupe. That's what it looks like. And I'm pretty sure you don't wanna eat the seeds, so. Uh... Let's cut these seeds out. I'm excited. She sometimes has good taste, other times I just think it's gross. So, I'm talking about Mama Tang. <laughs> I think it's like, there's some things that I just can't fathom eating. But I think everyone's like that. They're like, never in a million years would I eat kimchi. And that's like my, I eat it at least once a week. More than that. <laughs> so let's try it. Smells like cantaloupe. So it's good. But if I'm gonna spend however much I spent on it, because I know it wasn't cheap, I'd buy a cantaloupe. So there you go, Mama Tang. She got me to buy something again. She's a good salesperson. I'm gonna eat this in my bread, and that's gonna be dinner tonight. I'm making me some dinner, not dinner. I'm making me some lunch. I didn't even get up early enough for breakfast today. I've been really lazy. <laughs> I was in bed till 10 o'clock. But I didn't go to bed till really late because I was watching Netflix. That's a horrible habit and I need to break it. But I've been working nights the last couple days at work. And I just, I don't know. I'm like, oh, I can sleep in. So I'll just stay up super late. And I hate doing that because then I feel like this day's wasted. Like literally, I'm going to eat. I got to take a shower and then I have to go to work. That's, that's my day today. And of course, there's like after work but nothing's open after work <sighs> but the gym well guys I just got done eating that kimchi jar <laughs> I just rinsed it out I'm gonna put it in the uh, washer scene but that's how much I like kimchi guys but this was only like literally a quarter of the way full it was nowhere near full um, but I probably just ate a cup of kimchi easy so good. I love it. So now I'm just cleaning up. Wait for my hair to dry a little more before I kind of manually dry it. I just picked some wild strawberries from my yard. They're so tiny, guys. Like, you can tell. Here's like the tip of a pen, and it's a strawberry. So these are kind of wild strawberries that grow into my yard. Which is actually pretty cool, and this pen's actually a vegan, a vegan pen, biodegradable, made out of paper. So, I really gotta get ready for work now, but I updated my Snapchat, so I have a couple crazy snaps on there. So, check it out, links below. So I saw quite a few of you guys wanted to do the tag, they're like, oh, I'll write down the questions, or you Snapchatted me. So I'm going to try to find the correct spelling, and I'm definitely going to put it below. So just copy and paste it, put it on your channel, do the tag, tag me in your video so I can definitely watch it. And yeah, that's all for today. I really don't have anything to end the vlog with, but I'm so glad you guys enjoyed that. And there's more to come. Just tell me what you guys want to see. If you're okay with me doing more tags, I really enjoy doing it. And you're going to have like two videos in two days in like two rows. So I've been trying to be more consistent with my videos because I know you really appreciate it. It's just really hard when I work all the time. Like I love doing this. Like I love recording and I love talking to you guys. But when you're working, let me, let me be honest, I work part time. But I feel like working part time, taking care of the house, working in my garden, and trying to get out and exercise as much as I can slash 
being really lazy, it takes a lot of time. You know, being lazy sitting on the couch takes some time too, so. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Please thumbs it up. I never say that. Ah, my fingers really hurt. I cut my finger so bad at work there. And then I cut my finger on the top, which, where? Right there. So, yeah. Oh. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Goodbye. Yeah, <laughs>